All right, folks, it's the last day. Well, it's the last day that I'm putting up a video through this week. If you, could, you couldn't tell by the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt through all these videos, I filmed this all in one night. <laughs> we filmed this all in one night. It's been a wild night and I'm ready to just be done. Let's talk about some fucking movies. All right, folks, uh, like at the beginning of every video this week, I think every video this week, um, I've been pointing you all towards uh, the prelude video to explain what this feature is this year and, and how it's kind of just me talking into a microphone and uh, spewing whatever words come out of my mouth. Uh, we're just going to talk about the, the movies that we saw this year. Best old movie, Parasite. It's Parasite. I saw Parasite in January of this year, of this past year, 2020, not 2021. I saw, I saw Parasite in January of this past year. Oh, that movie's that movie's fucking great. That movie's uh, awesome. <laughs> that movie rules. If you haven't seen it, it's a, a. Some people think it's like a like a spooky movie, like a horror movie. It's, it's not. It's it, it 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 is a tense movie uh, for sure. Uh, and there might be some spooky imagery in one or two scenes, but it's not a it's not a horror movie whatsoever. Not a traditional horror movie, at least. Um, depends. Do you think capitalism is horror? <laughs> Because then, then maybe this is a this is a horror movie. Yeah, this this movie is just a a, a really great um, uh, commentary on society and capitalism, and 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 just everyone who is smarter than me has talked about this movie at length. It's it's one of those movies that I liked a lot when I um, when I you know finished watching it. Then over the course of the year, especially the year that this past year was, um, uh, I just kept liking it more and more. I kept thinking about what it does. Uh, yeah, so the, the more the more time went on, the more I liked that movie. It's Parasite. It's great. I am not going to talk too much about it because you should just go watch it as blind as you possibly can. If you've been able to stay um, um, unspoiled about that movie this long, just go and do it. Just go and watch it. It's a it's a trip. It's a trip, and I and 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 I think it's worth watching without knowing what happens in that second half of that movie um all right let's go let's go let's just talk and talk about our our three my are my uh favorite um three movies of the past year number three violet evergarden guy den i think in the u.s it was released as um violet evergarden one uh, Eternity and the Auto Memory Doll. Uh, in Japan, it was just by the Evergarden Gaiden, Eternity and the Auto Memory Doll. Um, it, it's a long title, so I, I don't know what it's, I don't know what's gonna fit in the actual text that I that I put up in the graphic that I I assume I'm putting up uh, or just put up right now. But um, we'll figure that out in editing. I really love Violet Evergarden, um, the series. It it's it, it's a it's a beautifully animated series. It's an emotional series. It's 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 something that I truly truly adore. And there's two movies uh, uh, for this series. The first one is the one we're talking about right now, and then there's a second movie uh, that uh, came out in Japan already. It's going hopefully going to be released this year. The second movie is a direct sequel to the series. Uh, this first movie is a side story um and if you don't know uh, the series is uh, uh violet uh, evergarden she is an auto memory doll which is basically a job title for a ghostwriter right um, um she will go to uh clients spend time with them and 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 do writing for them they will dictate what they want to write and she will you know type it on her typewriter the people the, the clients usually just have an idea of what they want to write violet's the true creative energy behind that writing to make something really heartfelt something that really conveys the feelings of the client so this movie has her doing that and, and the movie's kind of split into two parts but both parts are very intertwined they, they they connect directly to each other the first part focuses on this uh woman at, at uh, uh i think uh, i think it's a boarding school and the second part involves a, a child um who uh, wants to be uh, a postal worker and what what i really loved about this movie and what i'm realizing now at the end of this long string of videos is that this movie yet again is a movie about um connections about family uh, in, in this case in particular um i, I don't want to uh, spoil it too much but uh the, the way the two parts of the movie are connected are that the main clients are siblings. They're estranged siblings, I'll say that much at least. Uh, and you and you get the backstory of, of why uh, they're, they're they're no longer together and their journey to possibly see each other once again. And it it, it really hit. 
um, especially that second half. That second half was uh, was the part that I think really has the most emotional weight. The first half is basically the setup, right? The actual like meat of the movie is that second half uh, uh, when she. You, it, 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 there's a time skip there. It happens, uh, I think, a, a couple years later, where you you see the, the 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 sister and then follow her through her story to to convey her feelings, right? Like just like I said earlier, this movie is about conveyance of feelings to the people you care about that's that's the entire series really that's that that is violet evergarden but yeah what what the movie does it does really well it looks incredible like you know it's it's kyoto animation anyway so yeah violet evergarden gaiden watch that it it's also really good let's talk about the next movie on the list uh, pizza i can't smell we can't we can't taste either number two soul no smell no taste or touch Soul snuck in right at the end there, right? Like Soul came out at the tail end of December. This movie is about um, a jazz teacher who gets his, finally after such a long time, gets his big break, right? He gets his big break. He's gonna play with a, with a very talented and, and, and very well-known jazz artist at a, at a local uh, jazz club. And while he's on his way, he dies. He dies, he falls in the manhole, and he dies. This entire uh, movie is him trying to get back to his own body and in the process meeting another soul, another lost soul not a lost soul a new soul or, or unborn soul rather who has been stuck in the, the before life like there's, there's the afterlife and there's the before life they, they, they don't want to leave right they, they, they're just like ah that place down there there's nothing there for me and the entire movie is about living it's a movie about about finding the things in life and and enjoying those things and i think this movie hits particularly for me just because i make things right i make in this case video but making things is making things whether you're making music whether you're making video or making something physical you're making something like like and and there's this one bit in the movie where uh, the main character is doing his thing. He's playing the piano, uh, and he gets into what the movie calls the zone. I think that's part, that part of the movie, that that scene of the movie, really nailed what that could feel or look like uh, in a more fantastical way. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a fantastic looking movie. It's a it, it's a great fun movie. It's very funny. Yeah, it's an awesome movie. Go watch it. Oh, I got a thing in here. Uh, I just ate a bunch of chicken nuggets, by the way. So that's why, uh, that's why I'm a little, uh, burpy all of a sudden. Um, what were we talking about? We're talking about movies. Um, let's, yeah, let's, let's just talk about the, the last, uh, movie on this list. My favorite movie of 2020. <laughs> Number one, Ride Your Wave. I've been talking a lot about, uh, about movies with emotional weight to them and this is one of those the movie starts out with our main character Hinako she meets this she meets this guy she meets this guy named Minato and uh they start a relationship and things thing, things go bad let's just say things go bad and the rest of this movie is basically about using grief and 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 using memories as a crutch and and how while those memories exist to uplift you and they exist to help you in 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 hard times they are not to be used as again as a crutch to 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 keep yourself from moving on um yet again uh 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 seeing this movie at the time really enjoyed it and then as 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 the year progressed um that movie became more and more pushed to the front of my mind right i, I thought about that movie a lot later in the year now uh, uh even and it's it, and it's just one of those that that i can think back on scenes from that movie and immediately start welling up the beginning sequence of that movie is um a like uh super cut uh, of the two main characters relationship and, and it's just so incredibly sweet and so heartwarming and and seeing two fictional characters being so happy together right just melted my heart and then i also think about again i don't want to spoil too much but uh, a, a scene near the end of the movie it's during christmas but it, it is it, it is after the climax of the movie and it's just one of those moments uh, that feel so especially grounded. Um, it's ba it's basically the perfect representation of spending your day to day being just fine and and and, and enjoying uh, the things that are around you, but then there might be one little thing, or in this case, a very major thing that just brings back some of those memories for a split second and it's difficult right and it's difficult and it's okay to break in that one moment right it's 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 not a sign of weakness it's not a sign of anything negative if anything it's positive because you know 
that you are your own person, you are, uh, and 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 you're doing fine. But there's just gonna be moments where where those memories are just gonna just gonna <laughs> they're just gonna hit, and they're gonna hit hard. And all you can do is let it happen in that moment, and then pick yourself up and keep going forward. Yeah, it's it, it, it's a it's a really sweet movie, and I'm actually eager to rewatch it. <laughs> uh, I don't rewatch things often, uh, but I'm extremely eager to to rewatch this movie. Uh, and I think it is a, a perfect movie to name my favorite movie of the year. Anyway, well, that's it. I, I think we did it. It's been weird, folks. It's been, it's been interesting. Uh, and I don't even just mean the past year. I mean literally the past, <laughs> literally the past three hours. Anyway, folks, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn these cameras off. I'm gonna turn these lights off because they're very bright and they hurt my eyes. Uh, thank you for watching. Whatever this was. Uh, uh, again. I have ended most of these videos. Stay safe. Um, and uh, see you guys later. Goodbye.